What is actually the best way to keep your shirts tucked in? Well, in this video, I'll be testing out some of the most popular products and tactics to see which one works the best. When wearing a shirt, loads and loads of guys suffer from the same fatal mistake. They struggle to keep their shirt tucked in properly and end up with a muffin top, where the material folds and overlaps the side of their trousers. I'm making this video to test out the best methods to keep your shirt tucked in to prevent this from happening. Now I've seen many, many videos out there on YouTube, all titled the exact same thing, how to keep your shirt tucked in. Unfortunately, the vast majority of these videos are simply advertisements for shirt stay companies. In this video, I actually want to do some live testing. I'll be trying shirt stays, but also comparing them against other different options and other tactics that guys try and employ. And I want to make it clear that this isn't a sponsored video. This is gonna be my completely honest feedback about the different options that I'll be showing in this video so that you can decide which method of attack is gonna work for you the best. I will be leaving links to all the products that I'm including in this video in the description below and I will endeavor to try and get a discount code for each of these for you too. So if I'm successful with that, you'll find that down in there as well. There are three main approaches that I want to compare in this video. Number one will be tie my belt as tight as possible to try and keep the shirt tucked in. Number two will be shirt stays. These ones are from a company called Sharp and Dapper. These ones are the standard ones that attach both to your socks and then also to different areas of your shirt. You wear one on each leg and adjust the tension as appropriate to keep the shirt tucked in. And the third method is these waist grippers. I got sent these ages ago yet to get around to trying them in all truth so today will be the first time this involves sticking a series of rubberized pads onto the inside of the trouser the idea being that this creates friction to prevent the shirt from becoming untucked i'll be trying each of these methods and then attempting to do a variety of different movements and stretches first i'll do some walking around my house to see how they cope under natural normal movement then i'll attempt to pick something up off the floor a couple of times because loads of times this is when guys bend over and then people can see their bums and then finally i'm going to be attempting to reach up for something as if it was something on a high shelf and again this is a typical time the loads of guy shirts actually become untucked okay let's start with the first line of defense let's take a look at using a belt only so I've got a shirt on here that is clearly too long to be worn untucked. This one naturally sits almost at the bottom of the crotch area. So this is one that I definitely need to make sure is tucked in. Okay, I'll get this one tucked in first of all, and then we'll have a go just with a tighter belt. The primary function of a belt is obviously to make sure that your trousers stay up as opposed to keeping the shirt tucked in. So we'll see how this one goes. So I've done, Whew. So my belt, <laughs> my belt up as much as I can uh, whilst still being able to breathe. Now one of the issues I'm already having here, due to the way that because I've clenched it in here, uh, you'll see I've got my belly button always showing from inside the shirt, but we'll ignore that and we'll carry on. First of all, I'll be back in a moment because I'm going to do a lap around the house and see how it feels and if it works. Okay, so um, I had a, a little walk around my house. It's okay uh, at that sort of level. My shirt still seems to be tucked in about the same as it was before, um, but I'm still having the problem with the buttons uh, popping open between the buttons. Also, when I was walking around, one of the big problems is because it's so constraining, it hurts a little bit too. I'm wearing the Core Essentials belt here, so it's decent. I mean, it's holding up my trousers absolutely fine, but it's not really the function that I'm wanting for this video. Now I'm gonna do a couple of tests. I'm gonna bend down, to the floor a couple of times as if I was trying to pick up an item and then I'm going to stretch up to the ceiling a couple of times as if I was picking something off a shelf and we'll see how we get on. Let's go. Okay, that was the lower stretches and I felt it go at the back. I mean, it's already come undone at the back. Uh, let's have a look. I'm going to have a go at stretching up now and we'll see how that one goes. <laughs> As if you were going to get some, well, that's your answer really in all honesty lads. There's a section here of about 4 centimeters that's still tucked in, but other than that, this is all, it's all untucked around the sides, all untucked around the back, so doing your belt up tighter, not really going to save you any time. Okay, let's try the next method, which is the old reliable shirt stays. Now we move on to the shirt stays, so this is the most revealing video yet on my channel, but we'll see how these go. 
you get one end and attach it to the top of your socks and then you pull it upwards and then attach the other three sides onto the bottom of your shirt and you can actually adjust the length to adjust the tightness of the shirt stays as well so that's what they look like when they're in place on one leg I'll do the same on the other and then we'll give it a proper test okay trousers are back on and the shirt stays are in place on both legs I noticed that the background might be a bit different on this section of the video because I've had to refill a massive section because the files got corrupted the wonders of doing YouTube so I'll give these a test first things first I can feel immediately I mean you can probably visually see that the shirt stays pulling the shirt tighter, especially down the middle. And you can see that there is no longer an issue with the material between the buttons flapping open and revealing my belly button. I'm gonna begin by walking around the house a little bit and then we're gonna try these stretch tests afterwards. Okay, so having a little walk in these, I've, I've already tested these before so I know what to expect. These provide a much more solid feeling for the shirt. You can feel that the shirt stay is in place down the leg. But even with these pretty skinny trousers on, I don't think you can actually see them. If you know what you're looking for, you can probably just about make it out from my angle here. But as a whole, I'm pleased with the appearance and they're certainly not uncomfortable. Let's do a couple of stretch tests and see how this performs. I'm going to reach down first a couple of times. And immediately, big difference. You can see the back here still tucked in. Also, no bothers around the front or the side area either. It certainly feels quite tight when you're bending over, but it's better than it popping out. Next, I'm going to try reaching upwards a couple of times. As if I was reaching for something. And again, compared to the last one where it just popped out immediately, you can see, still very much tucked in here, even with excessive stretching. Extremely functional, definitely does the job. Let's compare the waist grippers and see how they perform too. I've had to reattach some waist grippers because I already filmed with some last night, so I've attached some new ones. I've left them for a couple of minutes to try and bond with the jeans. I'll just show you them in place. I've got, you might just be able to make it out, I've got one here and one on the front here, and then I've also got one there and then one on the opposite side on the back just down here as well okay first things first in the static position it's it's not like i've really got anything on mainly because you can see here as i, as I move or do anything um the sections between the buttons are opening up again whereas with the shirt stays because they were pulling it vertically down the tension meant that this wasn't happening so you can see you know a slight bit of Muffin topping. Start with a walk test and then I'll do some um, flex tests again. Okay, so whilst walking, it feels very much like the, the first test I did in this video where I didn't have anything on in particular. It does feel slightly tighter around the rear area, so I'm going to do some stretch tests to see how we cope. Okay. Not bad, not, not bad actually, I'll just show you the rear of the jeans and actually um, the shirt has become untucked slightly but it's not actually come out of the jeans. That's a lot better than when I didn't have them on. I'll just retuck and then go again for uh, a couple of stretches upwards. Okay. And again, no, it's okay. Um, it, it again, actually it has kept the shirt tucked. But it hasn't returned to its original position as well as with the shirt stays. In fact, there is a section here of a few centimeters where it has come untucked. But that performed a lot better than without anything at all like I did in the first test. I'm surprised it's actually kept the rear of the shirt in. One of my only concerns here is that the um, things themselves, the waist grippers are actually starting to peel off slightly. But as a whole, actually, not bad. It, it, it doesn't have the tension, but it it definitely does something and that abrasion seems to help to keep the shirt in place. What do you think of those results? Let me know in the comments section below. Before making this video, I knew that shirt stays were definitely going to be better than just wearing an extra tight belt because I've tried them before. Trying to wear your belt just extra tight to compensate, it, it doesn't really do anything. And I know that out there I've seen some guides on certain folds and ways that you can tuck your shirt in to 
apparently make it stay in for longer. But in most cases, you're still gonna struggle with some form of muffin topping if you're gonna be doing this. I've tried these Sharp and Napa shirt stays for several weeks now and I've been very, very pleased with the results. And I'm sure from the video you can easily see how good they are at keeping the shirt in place. It provides the vertical tension too so that the, the areas between my buttons weren't flapping open. And also, even though I'm wearing what are pretty tight jeans, I don't think that they were particularly visible. And that's one of the reservations I always had about these things is would they be you know, visible to people when I'm walking down the street. If you want your shirt to stay tucked in all day, I'd highly recommend them. The only thing to bear in mind, obviously, is the amount of time it takes to actually get them on and in place when you initially put them on. The good thing is once you've adjusted them to the correct length, you can lock them in at that particular length, so that does help to speed it up. But it isn't as fast as something like the waist grippers. Now, the waist grippers um, actually surprised me quite a bit. They weren't as good as the shirt stays, but they were better than I probably expected. First things first, given the type of thing that they are, I didn't think that they would do anything really, but they did. And during the stretch tests in particular, they performed really, really well, especially when compared to not wearing them at all. Because these are designed to stay permanently on the inside of your jeans, obviously it's gonna be a lot quicker and potentially easier to use than the shirt stays. But they don't have the same effect of pulling your shirt down firmly like the shirt stays do. So for me, that meant that my shirt was still quite baggy towards the center. Also, I do have a couple of reservations about these things. Number one is how strong is the adhesive on these things? Admittedly, I only stuck these on, you know, a couple of minutes before actually trying them. So maybe the adhesive needs some time to form uh, maybe a stronger bond with the jeans. But whilst I was maneuvering my shirt, there was an issue with, you know, certain areas of the waist grippers peeling off. And additionally, I have no clue how these things would cope in a washing machine. Would they fall off? Would they shrink? Would they melt into my clothes? I really don't know. These are two much more, you know, long-term effects that uh, if I find the answers to, I'll leave in the comments section. So what's the, the moral of the video, the moral of the story? If you want the most professional solution that's actually going to keep your shirt in place and keep the, the tautness of your shirt as well, then you can't go wrong with shirt stays. But if maybe you're on a super tight budget, then the waist grippers might be worth a try. From my limited testing, definitely seems better than wearing nothing at all. Once more, I'll leave links in the description to both of these products so you can try them for yourself. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, make sure you press the like button. And if you want to see similar videos to this one, informative content on how to style your hair and what to wear, make sure you press subscribe as well and then press the bell next to it too so that YouTube notifies you every time I upload a new one. And I'll see you on the next video.